Good morning. Well, we did have a nice sunrise this morning. Not spectacular, but nice. And you'll notice at the end of it, a bird flies through the scene. This kind of makes it extra special. Now, uh, oh, probably about 15, 20 minutes ago when I first sat down here, I was, I was uh, going through my sprues, I, or actually I was putting away some sprues, and I noticed that there were more G sprues. I forgot there was a total of six G sprues. And I only got 32 of these G5s. Uh, but there's another, what would that be? 32, 64, uh, my goodness, I can't, I can't, I'm so, my mind is, is so numbed here by the shock of all these extra G5s that I, I can't even multiply. But anyway, there's lots, close to, must be around 90, I guess. Anyway, uh, yeah, and here I thought all I had to do was get the remaining, uh, H9s. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay, now I've got at least three comments suggesting that I'm going to end up blowing these off of the sticky tape uh, when I airbrush. And I was kind of wondering about that. I'm going to redo that. I'll do it off camera. I'm going to nip these off of camera as well. Uh, and and just, just get it done. We've, we've wasted enough time here. In fact, I, I, got, a, I got an email on the new website from a, from a viewer suggesting that my my show has really gone downhill and it's not interesting anymore at least to him uh, because he felt that I was spending too much time with rabbits and sunrises and all that kind of stuff and that's probably true it, it's changing it, it is changing um, uh, uh, anyway uh, okay also as long as we're talking about as long as we're talking about the, the new website uh, I've been getting pictures as well as Jack's picture of his r rotisserie. I've been I've been getting other photos too of people sending me stuff that's interesting, and and, and uh, yeah, I like to see it and so on. But I'm I'm thinking that are these people that are sending me their photos, hoping that I will show them on in this in the uh, in one of these episodes. And the answer to that is is a plain and simple no, unless it's something that I'm talking about anyway like the rotisserie. So that's why I showed it. But uh, somebody showed, sent me uh, some photos of his, of his Nelson and he's doing a great job. He's way ahead of me and he's doing a really nice job. And I thought, you know, I could put those up. And I thought, no, I just, I just don't want to get into that because there will be no end to it. Uh, I'm already wasting too much time uh, doing, you know, birdhouses and all the rest of it. Uh, I, I, I gotta, I gotta get back to this and, and try and get more, more done. However, where are we going here with this? Stay on track, Ron. Stay on track. Okay. I am a member of Jim Steen's Facebook group and it's, it's called, uh, uh, plastic, plastic model ships. What is it now? I forget. forget. I'll, I'll look it up later. Plastic model ships, one, 200 scale. I think it is. And it's on Facebook and he's got, uh, he's got this nice little group going on here. It's, it's up upwards of about a thousand members now. And, uh, there, if you join and, and I, I actually, uh, uh, messaged him yesterday and I asked him, how does somebody join? And, uh, well, I'll put well, I'll put exactly what he were his reply uh, here on the page so that you can see it, and and you can join this. Then you can post your photos of your creations and how far you've got, and 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 other people who are also doing model ships will will see them, and uh, can you know respond. It was a typical Facebook group thing. Now with Facebook, it's kind of funny. It seems to me that. There's no rhyme nor reason to it. You you click on most recent, you don't always see most recent. <laughs> uh, yeah, you kind of wonder what are they what are they up to. But anyway, not only would I get to see your photo, but but so would a lot of other members who are very interested in model ships. 
uh, and I think that might be the best way to go. So I guess bottom line is I'm not going to be posting photos that you send me on this on in in uh, in uh, one of my episodes unless, like I say, it's it's relevant to what I'm talking about at the time. Um, but I, I do appreciate getting them. Now, on the other hand, if you're thinking to yourself, hey, I don't care about the other people. I just want Ron to see this because I've been following him for, you know, ever since way back in the Bismarck build and, and it's become sort of a, a sort of a ritual with me. And I just like him to see what I've got. And, and I don't care if nobody else sees it. Well, that's fine. Then I'll see it. And, I'll, and I may not do any texting back, but I'll try to at least give you a thumbs up or a happy face or something so that you'll know I saw it. <laughs> um, okay, enough about the new website or, or email address. So, uh, and uh, I, I would recommend you look into uh, to Jim Steen's uh, 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 private group there. Uh, it's, well, it, it's not completely private because I guess if you can join, it's not. But uh, uh, anyway, let's, let's carry on here. I'm going to... Uh, Go ahead and I'm going to get the rest of these off. I want to, I'm going to pull these off of this yellow tape and I'm going to put them on something that sticks a little better. I don't think I'm going to be using blue tack. I think I'll probably use that double sided tape that sticks like, you know what. And uh, anyway, uh, oh, uh, as far as a rollback goes, I really didn't come back to the model table uh, yesterday. About the only thing I can show you is a very quick update on the birdhouse. And I'll, we'll, it takes about 30 seconds. And then we'll get back to something model, model related. It was around mid-afternoon that I was noticing there was quite a bit of activity going on at our birdhouse. And I was thinking, oh, they're moving in finally. I had set the uh, surveillance system so that it would record motion, indicated in red here. Anything that uh, happens to move in that area, it'll sort of give me a little alert, and uh, I wasn't getting any alerts, except for things like dandelion fluffies blowing by and insects and that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, but no birds. Well, it looked good for a while. And the last one. Okay, now, um, These ones here are the ones that were stuck on the yellow tape. The ones out this way are the ones that I just nipped off within the last hour. And I did not sand the tops. I just I just didn't feel like going to the extra work. Um, some of them you can you can notice, yeah, that one looks like you if you look real close with a magnification hood you can see. But from arm's length I guarantee you, from arm's length or even closer, normal normal close-up looking distance, in other words, you will not be able to tell. So I thought, why go to all that work? Now the H9s, on the other hand, because the area is so much larger, I am going to do the tops. And there's only four of them. Yeah, that looks better. 
Okay, I was uh, realizing afterwards that you were so far back you probably couldn't see it being done, so we slipped on the macro lens here. keeps twisting on me here. Maybe if I was to have put these in the pin vise it might have worked better. Or I could have slipped them in the uh, Tamiya electric drill and uh, had them twirl around. It'd be sort of like a lathe then, wouldn't it? This is just an ordinary toothbrush. I still haven't got my fiberglass brush yet. Well, that, that's okay. I'll just do the other two. Well, you've already seen it being done. Now, when you're looking at them close up like this, it's, it's, you can readily see where a person didn't, uh, like this one here, it's kind of it sanded off at a bit of an angle. And uh, this one here, you can, you can tell it's one of the ones that I did not bother to, to sand at all. Um, but like I say, you can't see that unless you just move right in. Okay, enough poking. Okay, earlier in this episode, at the beginning when I was talking about uh, Jim Steen's uh, Facebook group and so on, and he was uh, mentioning how you could join, he also mentioned how you could get kicked out. So I gotta be careful I don't talk about rabbits too much, right Jim? Uh, so we won't, we won't talk about the rabbits today, but I will give you an update tomorrow. As, as for the birdhouse, I, I haven't noticed anything, uh, any activity. If I find that at the end of the day that there has been no activity at the birdhouse, I'm gonna cut off the uh, perch been recommended that I cut off the perch. I know why I've heard that before. I knew that years ago already. I stuck it in I stuck it in when I put the birdhouse together because I had it. But I shouldn't have. I should have just plugged that little triangular hole or square hole or Yeah, it's a square hole. Uh anyway, uh, I'm I'm gonna call it quits because what I wanna do here is I wanna put this back up in the backyard. Remember, we got it working, so. Uh, okay, thanks for watching, everybody. All being well, we'll see you tomorrow.